today I'm going to be making a DIY. Guess what it is. Okay, have you guessed? Well, it's these rubber band bracelets. They could be colorful or just like black and white, you know, whatever you want. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so now we are going to start making these awesome stretchy bracelets. Are you ready? I'll just let you say it. Okay. So first we're going to start off obviously with a rubber band. It could be any choice. You don't have to copy me. It doesn't matter. But now we're going to turn it into an eight. So imagine an eight. Now just twist it and put it like that on your fingers. See? It looks like an eight, right? Well, now you're going to take another rubber band and now you're just going to loop it regularly. Just like that. Not an eight. Just regularly. Now you're going to lift up the one, the rubber band that was on the bottom, and now you're going to just strap it on. Ta-da! You already made like one little, I have no idea what you call these, but I'll just call them loops. And you keep on repeating the same thing, but when you put your second or third straight, like rubber band, make sure you do not make an eight. It, it could just be a regular loop, just like your second rubber band. So now, just going to do this. And then you keep on continuing until it fits your hand. Okay, so now guys, I have gotten all the way till it fits my hand. You guys probably did too, I don't know. But yeah, now you see this thing that I'm holding that looks like a pretzel or a C? Well, this is called a C ring. This is how you get like a rubber band to actually like, how do I call this? come together as you can see this one this one has an s ring those two still hold um rubber bands too so now there's like a little hole in a c ring and basically you have to put the rubber bands in the hole so as you could see i'm trying to do it you guys i seriously can't really do it because let me tell you it's very tiny if you have some i think you know what i mean if you already know how to make them then you guys definitely know what I mean. They are so tiny, you guys. I don't know why they are so tiny, but. Okay, now guys, I have finally put the little C ring in, and now you're like, okay, wait, what happened again? Okay, I'm just gonna tell you that if you have like extra size, you see these? Well, yeah, you just gotta, like, there's a tiny hole. Can you guys see that? There's, like, a tiny little hole right here. There's, like, a teeny weeny hole where your little rubber bands are supposed to fit. And that's where you're supposed to do it. And as I said earlier, I think it's very tiny. It's, like, a very tiny hole. And these may slip. I know. Trust me, I've made so many of these. So, yeah, there you have it. You have your perfect, awesome rubber band bracelet I'm sorry I keep on forgetting to say that and you can make more and more for the rest of your life and then you'll look so pretty I pretty much like the new one so yeah I'll see you guys later bye